Hello, and welcome to Nextara's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Force.com workbook. This series covers Chapter 2, Customize a User Interface, and this video covers Section 2, Modify a Page Layout. Now that we've talked about creating custom list views, we're going to talk about customizing the detail page view with a page layout. So first click the Invoices tab, and then click on any invoice in the list. This is the detail page. To make changes to it, click Edit Layout. Here on the Editor page, you'll see an upper section called the Palette, which is a toolbox, and the lower section, which is the Preview pane. In the page layout itself, there are several sections that organize information. The Highlights panel is useful for displaying key information at the top of the page. The Publisher Actions is useful for customizing the actions that appear in the publisher. At the top of the Invoice Detail, notice the area for Standard Buttons and Custom Buttons. Next is the Invoice Detail, which has three default sections. The Information section contains fields that users can manipulate at some point, whereas the System Information typically contains fields that are automatically maintained by Salesforce and not editable. The Custom Links section typically contains custom navigation links. Below the Invoice Detail section is a section for mobile cards. This is empty by default, but it's important to know that mobile cards only appear in the Salesforce One app. And lastly, on the page is a related list for related line items. Hover over a section title and you'll notice the mouse cursor changes and you can drag the section to another area on the page. Hover over the upper right of a section title, and you'll see a button to delete the section, and a button for the section properties. Here you can change the section's name, choose whether it appears on the detail page and or the edit page, whether it's a two column layout or one column layout, and the order that the field moves when you press the tab key. Let's change the layout to one column, then click OK. Now, move the Owner field to above the Status field. We can also change the properties of the related lists to display more fields and more useful information. Click the Wrench icon under Related Lists and add the fields Merchandise and Quantity, then click OK. Notice that columns have been added for merchandise and quantity in the preview. Now, click Save in the palette to save your changes and return to the detail page. Notice that the Owner field has been moved above the Status field, and columns have been added for merchandise and quantity. Hover your mouse cursor over one of the invoices in the Recent Items list to see what's called the Mini Page Layout. Right now, it has no additional information. Click Edit Layout to return to the editor. Then click Mini Page Layout. Let's add some fields to the Mini Page Layout. Add Invoice Number, Owner, and Status, then click Save. Now, click Save in the palette to save your changes. Hover over an invoice in the Recent Items list again, and now you'll see that invoice number, owner, and status are displayed. In our next video, we'll cover Section 3, Customize a Layout for Mobile Access. Thank you for joining us. For more great content, click to follow us on Google+.